It's kind of bizarre, just how, like, insanely multi-talented I am. <laughs> I'm, like, decent when it comes to time trials. Like, I'm not terrible, but I'm not, like, the best, you know? Like, the best one I- the best- the best that I'm- I just stuttered so bad. End of video. Goodbye, guys. I feel like I could be better, right? Become a god. Make that my entire personality, right? Say goodbye to this channel and looking at games and stuff. We're only gonna be looking at Mario Kart dime trials after this. Because I'm gonna become the best. And how do we do that? Like how we always do it, baby. Let's open up a WikiHow. See, we would be opening up a WikiHow, but WikiHow has failed us today. There's no WikiHow out there for Mario Kart time trials specifically for Double Dash. First time I think WikiHow ever betrayed us like this. It's like a toxic relationship, me and WikiHow, I swear to God. So I had to do a little digging of my own and I came across uh, some fun stuff here, I, I believe. I think it'll be interesting for us to take a peek at a little gander at. Um, one of them being Mario Kart's Double Dash for noobs. Updated November 2007. This guy put together something that's for sure so i originally wanted to do like both mario kart 8 deluxe and double dash time trial like guides right for um mario kart 8 it's it's all just like how to unlock characters there's not really like any tips or tricks on like hey this is how you give me the best at time trials right which is what i'm looking for i found one where it's just like about builds and stuff and i just kept seeing cards called like the biggie oh. buddy and i was like what is the biggie oh. buddy i've never heard of this be before in my entire life right and it's actually called the bitty buggy but they spelt it oh. buggy on this website so we might come back to deluxe sometime maybe in the future i don't know we'll see we got like a few pages we're gonna look at on here. So I think it's important to obviously take a look at the time trialing and see what he says. So first things first, he says, I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're obsessed. You're obsessed with Mario Kart Double Dash. That's it. That's insane. That is insane to begin with. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you where you were going to end up. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to show you the world. Mario Kart Double Dash. Wow, this is amazing. A world with rules and controls, but without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. But you just said there's... Never mind. So you want to be an Mario Kart Double Dash time trialer. Huh? huh? <laughs> know what you're getting yourself into. What am I getting myself into? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, so we have the three key words here to time trialing. In Mario Kart Double Dash. Are you ready? I'll let you in on the big secret. There are three key words that summarize how you can improve your times. There are practice, practice, and practice. Oh, okay. He even says, well, that was a bit lame. Yeah, that, that was really dumb, dude. The fuck was that all about? But seriously, that's all there is to it. Really? Oh, no, we have three more key words, actually. Three more. Okay, time, motivation, perseverance. Make no mistake, this game can be frustrating, nerve-wracking, tormenting, almost as if it's mind of its own, set out to make you suffer. Okay. Holy shit, the rest of this page is so short. What makes great times? There are four aspects that separate the good time from the bad. This is what makes the game special. These mini turbos, exceptionally strange in the world of racing. Why is it... Why is it weird? Then do them on straightaways. So that's where I actually suffer in. I suffer in trying to hit those bad boys on straightaways. I feel like I, I don't hit them as quick, you know? I'm not hitting the mark as quick there. But um, the more you practice, the faster you can do them. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay. So I'm just going to stick to my usual here. We already know the drill. Okay, I think... Let's start with Peach Beach. Okay, just so we can hit like those like mini turbos and shit like that, you know? Those little straightaway shits. Alright, here we go moment of truth you know what i realized i don't think he ever said anything about like the mushrooms and like when to use those guys uh, see i'm not fast enough <laughs> again 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 was that too long whatever we're gonna use a mushroom up this hill that's a, that's a good oh straight away fuck we messed up no oh my god we where it's over it's over it's over I don't know what to do there. I feel like I'm holding it too long. Doing that little fucking V motion or whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Basic techniques. Found something interesting. Straight stretch mini turbos. And he gives us a literal diagram, which is so crazy. This is kind of like what I need, right? Like those mini turbos on straightaways. 
and like sideways boost on advanced techniques. Like, yes, like look at normal and then sideways. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Normal and sideways. But I trust him. What do I get? Yeah. <sighs> strat. No good times without a good strategy. If you're not a top player, the best strat may not work for you because of difficult things or things that require precision. So look out for alternatives. Look at my strats page, for instance. I'm gonna take a peek at the strat page here. Wait, what? In the ideal case, you hit the wall. What does that mean? But only just a little bit? How do I know if I'm hitting the wall a little bit enough? Like, what? Right here? Never mind. Like that? Does that suffice? Oh my god, my ghost is so fast! Okay. Hitting the wall a little bit. I gotta get that out of my head, because I'm just gonna try to hit the wall. Like, that's what my brain is gonna try to get me to do. And that's not right. Okay. I'm hitting- I hit the wall there! Okay, I should have never read the strat. Like, I am messing myself up here. I'm putting myself in a terrible situation. Oh my god! What was I on? Okay, what is that cart? Am I using the bullet bill? Get me in that bullet bill. Put me in the bullet bill. Hold on. Yeah! Okay, we're cooking here. Yeah, we're cooking here, guys. Let me cook. I'm gonna go back in time and break my thumbs. Like, what? How do I do this? All right, this is it. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. I'm gonna complete the entire race, okay? No restarting. I'm not fucking playing around no more. This is it. This is my entire life. All right, this is it, baby. Oh my god, bitch. The ghost got it on me, but whatever. Oh my god, I'm fast. Uh, sigh. Next, feeling. Uh -huh. This comes automatically with practice. You will develop a feeling for how the cart behaves. Time here is three minutes. I can get that down from three minutes for sure. I think I have developed a good feeling for how this cart behaves because my thumb actually hurts so bad. Uh, here we go. All right, my feeling is I'm, I can't drift correctly. That's the feeling I'm receiving. We're gonna hit this now. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe I should leave it at three minutes. Maybe I don't want to try to fix this, uh, this. Oh. Whatever. We don't even need a drip. Oh my god. You know what? We're running it. We're running it. Last but not least, consistency. This is the ability to drive constant. All right, sick. Without too many mistakes. Ooh. I'm not gonna restart. Whatever happens, happens. Unless... Un oh shit. Yep, whatever happens, happens. All I gotta say is, uh, shout out to this website.